Scoring the rotary stability test. For the rotary stability test, you're going to be doing unilateral movement, so that means right leg and right knee at the same time. You're going to come down onto the ground, make sure you have enough room to extend your body fully. You're going to want to have a 90 degree angle between your shoulders and the ground, hands underneath your shoulder, knees underneath your hips. Slightly rock. Touch, extend, and touch. 45 degree angle. Doing this on a softer surface than the concrete floor usually helps as well. But we got what we got. Now we're going to do it with the other side. Oh, I can't do it. This sucks. attempts are not very good. <sighs> Scoring the rotary mobility test performs a correct unilateral repetition. Unilateral limbs remain over the board without touching down. Touching the same side elbow to the same side knee directly over the board. So for the two or three, or two or, so for the two or one, what you're gonna do is do a diagonal touch. So I'm gonna demonstrate that. For a score of a 2, performs a correct diagonal repetition. The diagonal knee and elbow meet over the board. For a score of a 1, you are unable to do the diagonal touch without losing balance. Flexion clearing test. Flexion can be cleared by first assuming the quadruped position. Then rock back and touch your buttocks to your heels and chest or to the thighs. The hand should remain in front of the body, reaching out as far as possible. If there is pain associated with this motion, give a positive plus score with a final score of zero and perform a more thorough evaluation or refer out. If the individual receives a positive score, Document both scores for future reference. 